Apple's 10.2 inch iPad was released about six months ago. And at that time, I told people not to buy it and just buy the previous 9.7 inch model instead because it was on sale and there wasn't a huge difference between the two. Especially since Apple stuck the same exact A10 chip into the new model. But now, in 2020, a lot of things have changed, and I actually have three reasons why the 10.2 inch budget iPad is now a great choice. First off, the new model is on sale for $279, so it's a much better deal than before. And I'm 100% sure that this is the best bang for the buck tablet that you can buy for everything that you get, with the main benefit being the excellent software that you're getting. Apple software has proven especially reliable on on their iPads. It's very efficient, so you won't notice your iPad getting slower after a year or two of use, like you do with Android tablets, and you continue to get annual software updates for years after your purchase, which add great features and keep it running well. So just for the fact that you're getting Apple software for $279 is an excellent deal. And in 2020, the software has changed dramatically with iPadOS's new features. The new multitasking features we received with iPadOS 13 were great, adding so much more functionality to the iPad, and it's also great that the 10.2 inch iPad now has three gigabytes of RAM, so that will definitely help keep it running smoothly. But less than a month ago, Apple added cursor support to the iPad for the first time ever, which is reason number two for why it's so great. Cursor support basically means that you can connect a Bluetooth mouse or trackpad and literally use your iPad hands-free. This is great for everything from browsing the web, using drag and drop within apps like Files, or even things like creating your own website. You also get really great accuracy for things like occasional photo editing if you choose to do so. Getting into the third reason, the 10.2 inch iPad was the first iPad to get Apple's smart connector. Now when I first heard about this change, it didn't really matter much to me at all because I still believed that this budget iPad was meant to be used as a tablet for basic things and nothing more. I'm talking basic things like browsing through Instagram, watching some YouTube or Netflix, and playing basic and easy to run games like Clash of Clans. The reason I say easy games is because the A10 chip in this iPad is much weaker than the rest of the iPads in Apple's lineup. For example, it can't handle more demanding games like Fortnite, PUBG, or Call of Duty Mobile very well at all. The $400 iPad mini gets the A12 chip, which is much better suited for people interested in those types of games. But for basic games like Clash Royale or whatever else, this 10.2 inch iPad is actually fast enough. Now those were the reasons why I thought this iPad doesn't really need the smart connector. But now, in 2020, that connector is actually one of the most important features of this iPad. The reason for that is because of this keyboard case right here the brand new Logitech Combo Touch for the budget iPad for $150. What's special about this keyboard case is that it's the first one ever for the basic iPad to actually come with a built-in trackpad. This means that as soon as you put the case on, the smart connector will power the keyboard, which means absolutely no batteries, and the trackpad will instantly connect to your iPad. Now, this otherwise basic tablet turns into a full-blown laptop replacement, allowing you to use it just like you'd use a MacBook. You get both left and right click on the trackpad, along with all the same gestures and full cursor support. Now of course, it won't have the power of a laptop to do things like use professional apps, but for many people out there who just need a basic laptop for things like schoolwork and browsing the web, this will get the job done. I honestly believe that the Logitech Combo keyboard case takes this iPad to a whole new level and it opens it up to a much larger market than before. And the crazy part is that with that keyboard case, this laptop replacement iPad setup only costs $429, which is getting into Chromebook territory. And to be honest, I would recommend this setup over any Chromebook out there because you can do so much more with Apple's reliable and efficient iPadOS software, and you have access to so many more apps and games that you simply can't get on a Chromebook. Now, if you're gonna use it as a laptop replacement, I would definitely recommend going for the 128 gigabyte storage model. And you can even buy one with LTE cellular service 
so you don't have to rely on being connected to Wi-Fi all the time. And now that the coronavirus has basically shut every school down through the end of the academic school year, there are a lot of students doing their work at home. And I think this iPad with that keyboard case is the perfect setup for doing school work from home. And to make it even better, when you're finished with your homework, you get to enjoy watching Netflix, YouTube, browsing through Facebook, or playing games. Another excellent use case is for anyone running a small business. With that keyboard case, you can use it like a laptop for things like browsing the web, online banking, running apps like QuickBooks for invoicing and accounting, using Google Drive or the Files app for storing and sharing files, using Microsoft Word or Excel, social media marketing like Facebook or Instagram, creating your own website with the Squarespace app, and you could even sign documents using the Apple Pencil without having to print, sign, and scan them. This iPad setup with that Logitech Combo keyboard case is the perfect setup for a small business owner looking for a cheap and reliable laptop. Now, of course, those with a higher budget can spend some extra cash on the $500 iPad Air and get a much better display and more powerful processor, but this basic iPad can handle a lot of common tasks and the price is just so good that it's hard to choose any other tablet or Chromebook over it. Now the rest of Apple's current iPads have some significant improvements like better display quality, better speakers, and more performance, but this budget 10.2 inch iPad is good enough for a lot of people who'd rather save a good amount of cash. So all of those reasons are why the 10.2 inch iPad became a much better tablet in 2020. If you enjoyed this review, tap like and click the circle above to subscribe. And if you need help choosing an iPad in 2020, make sure to check out that video over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.